Yeah, there's a lot of wasted money. In my opinion, my opinion, bad, bad company to grow aggressively with is a crypto company. Good example, maybe, even though probably not. Uber, if they focused on the core business and not spread to like Uber Eats and like a bunch of other shit, you know, if they just focused on making the transportation part of their business profitable. But they're just throwing money like the fucking scooters. Like that's such, such a waste of money. I think that just comes from you don't have a competitive advantage. They have to try other things. Yeah. But I think that's just kind of just you're in the bad product. You're in a, in a, a non-winning product. What if they just buy Lyft? I could I buy Lyft right now. No, not that. But because when I was in when Wouldn't I was in Europe, problem? I think this is what I would do, and this might be totally wrong, but I would because when I was in Europe, I was using Uber so much, and it was just so good. I was like, bro, like this is like an essential service for me right now. Because it was faster. Because it was just faster than a cab. Like the people knew the people were there quickly. Mm-hmm. You're in, you're out, blah blah blah. But like, let's say, why don't they just double their prices, pay the drivers a little more, shake, you're going to shake out some customers, maybe like, let's say 30% of people don't use Uber because it's too expensive, but people will still use Uber because it's Uber, you know, they're not going to, you're paying for the convenience of not having to be like, yo, come get me, call, you know, not getting on the bus, you're paying for time. I think Uber is such a good service. They could easily raise prices. People would shit the bed, but they'd still use it. And the more money they make, that would like outweigh the cost of the subscribers they lose. You know, definitely pay the drivers a little more. Just back where you are. Well, then you're at the same. You could. Point. Well, not necessarily because okay, then they'd be then they'd be profitable or closer to profitability. Well, let's say you you lose the same amount of subscribers just to put your higher price point at neutral from what it was before. I don't think because of, because like in my opinion, Uber is so good. I you don't still have think, the same amount of people that are going to bars on the weekends. Use it. I do. Yeah. I don't think they lose 50% of their yeah. customers, you know, so maybe like 30, maybe not even that. I still think it's just because what's, what's their main obstacle lift and taxis or what? <laughs> not making money <laughs> is the right obstacle. I think, I think, yeah, it's just like, it's too expensive. It's too expensive to run that service. How many engineers do you have? I guess you also have to kind of drivers. You really want to cut down cars on drivers and stuff is solve automated cars. <laughs> and I think yeah. at this point, they're probably not in that, in that space to, to be the solution to that problem. They can't do that. Yeah, they can't do that unless they have Partner extra with cash. Tesla, dude. Partner with Wavo. Wazo. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they up. do this. I don't know if they do this, but do they, like, how much data did they collect from the cars that drive? Like, they could yeah. be making their own maps. Yeah, that too. That's, uh, that's and and still at that doing. point, at this point, to do all that thing, do all those things that are, like, future-oriented it's probably you're a little late to that game. Yeah, but think about there's more, there's way more Ubers on the road than Teslas. So I feel like they could, like, obviously every car doesn't have cameras like Teslas and sensors. But, like, I'm sure they could, like, do something. Mm-hmm. Maybe, like, make their own fucking map and then rent it out to Lyft so that they own their competitor mm-hmm. in that respect, you know? 